Council Member Zeda for joining us today for this uh, construction community meeting uh, for Southside Improvement Project. This project, uh, I'll be the project manager. My name is Mary Hanna. I'll be the project manager during construction for this project. So why are we having the meeting today? So back in January, we have the design public meeting and we uh, told everyone that when we have a contractor on board, we have a schedule, we'll come back again and introduce you to the contractor and our schedule of plant improvement. So today we'll give you an overview of the plant improvement and we'll share with you the construction schedule for that project. So our agenda for today will be describing the project limit and the existing condition, project scope and the construction schedule. And then we'll open it for question. If you want at the end to talk and want a question, we can call your name and you raise your hand and we can unmute you so you can answer the question. Or if you don't want to talk, you can put it in the chat button. Okay, so uh, this project, actually we have six street limits in this project. So the first segment is Cordon Avenue is from Thurmond to Clover Lane. And then we have two street segments in the Mistletoe Heights area, which is Erwin Street from Buck to Forest Park, and then West Magnolia from Buck to Jerome. And we have two streets in the Ryan Lake and Rosemont area, which are um, Gordon Avenue from Butler to Bedison, and Gordon from Bedison to Cleborne. And then we have Willing Avenue from the vet all the way to Canty. So this is a six street segment that we have as part of this project. So what existing condition? I'm sure everyone knows how their street looks like, uh, but we'll show some pictures showing how bad condition of the street and the basement has deteriorated in this area. So this is Irving Street. There is. Uh, Magnolia Avenue picture. This is Willing Avenue, and this is Gordon. Gordon, some area of Gordon Avenue doesn't even have Corban gutter, and the basement is in bad condition there also. So all these streets are part of all the improvements done here is part of the 2018 bond. So all of these limits are voted in the bond. So um, if someone wonder why we are not extending beyond this limit, because that's what was uh, approved as part of the 2018 bond. So our improvement. So mainly, so for all the streets, we are going to replace the water line as part of the project before we start the bathing. We are getting new basement. So the type of basement will be different in each project, but you will be getting new driveway, new sidewalk, new curb and gutter as part of the project. So for Cardon Avenue, we are replacing the old water line we are constructing all the curb and gutter and driveways. We are replacing any damaged sidewalks and ADA ramp on the street, and we are rehabilitating the street and asphalt. Erwing and Magnolia, the same thing. We are replacing the water line in the street. We are constructing concrete curb and gutter and replacing damaged concrete sidewalk and ADA ramp, and we are rehabilitating the street and asphalt. There is one thing I need to note in Erwing. Uh, that the south side of the street are the residents are connected to the water line at the back of their property in the alley. They are not connected to the street. So only the north side, we are replacing the water line in the street, not in the alley as part of this project. Okay, Gordon Avenue. So Gordon, like I said, there is two street segments as part of Gordon, north of Bedison and south of Bedison are not touching Bedison as part of this project. So the segment South of Pedersen is going to be in a uh, concrete uh, basement. The segment north of Pedersen is going to be in asphalt. And the reason they are two, two different uh, sections is when we checked what is the basement in this street with the scores, we found out that the segment of Gordon South of Pedersen actually have a concrete space. The one at north only asphalt. So we are replacing whatever existing we are matching. So if you originally had concrete, you're going to get concrete. If you originally had asphalt as a basement, you're getting asphalt. Uh, we're also replacing the water line from Butler all the way to uh, Cleborne. 
and we are reconstructing the concrete curb and gutter and driveways and the sidewalk on both sides. The other thing we're also doing as part of Gordon, if you see on the map, this green line is a proposed sewer line. We are replacing or rehabilitating the existing sewer line in the alley west of Gordon between uh, um, between um, Bury and the Vet. We're replacing the segment of sewer, sanitary sewer. Okay, Welling Avenue. Welling is actually going to be also concrete, same as the segment of uh, Gordon, since the existing also basement is there to have a concrete base. So Welling Avenue will be in concrete paving. Uh, we are replacing the water line in Willing. We also replacing all the sidewalk and ADA ramp on both sides if they are damaged. If they are in good condition, we are leaving them alone, of course. So uh, we are going to also replace the sewer line in um, both sides of Willing between uh, Loudon and to almost very on the west side and south of um, um, Bowie Street on the east side. So also in the alleys, we're going to do sanitary sewer in Welling. So how is this improvement will look like? So here is a picture of project we recently finished within the city. So this picture showing the scope, how the, the asphalt street will look like. You can see all the curb and gutter and the driveways and the sidewalk will be in concrete. The street itself will be asphalt. Uh, this is a big picture for another project we finished also, but this street is in concrete basement, so the street will be in concrete. So this is a picture of recently improved driveway. This driveway in a concrete street, the other one is an asphalt street. So it got, uh, in both cases, even the street is concrete or asphalt, in both cases, you are going to get concrete driveway and sidewalk. Um, this is a picture showing that sidewalk and along the street we improved recently and an ADA ramp. The ADA ramp will be different. Every location have different type of uh, ADA ramp. It has to fit the intersection. So the ADA ramp will be different based on the location. So it should be only that kind of ramp. There have, we have several kinds of ramps. So the other thing we need to discuss is the project schedule. So um, before I talk about uh, each street when we are going to start uh, the project there, I want to make sure that we all understand that this project is almost a year and a half of duration. So from the day we start, we're not going to finish until the end of next year. So by end of December, maybe even January of next year, uh, of the year after 2022. So that is a long duration, and we don't know what's going to happen during construction. There is a lot of unknown. There is rainy day, may delay construction. We can find an unexpected utility or any delay. So this is our estimated schedule for now. It can change. We may start a street before the other. We can make sure that you're going to be informed before we start in front of your house. But we may, instead of, we're going to start Gordon. If something happened, we didn't start, we can start Magnolia or Gordon. So we have six trees. We can start any one of them, and the order can change during construction. So, and the sequence of construction that we have to start the utility first. So the first thing we're going to happen in any of the three segments that a utility contractor will move in to install your new water line and sanitary sewer. After they finish all the new water line and the connection, you're putting your new meter, new connection, everything, and everything is working, and they move out of the project, the bathing contractor will move in. So they are not going to do like two things at the same time. We cannot do the utility and the bathing at the same time. We have to finish one completely for the whole length of the project, and then we move with to start the bathing. Uh, so you should receive as a door hanger a seven day notice before we start the construction and a one day notice. So as soon as we move in and we are planning to start the construction in, in front of your house in the street, you're going to receive a notice, a seven day notice that we are planning to start. Uh, during the installation of the water line, you may have interruption of the service. We will going to inform you of any of that. We'll 
send you notice. We'll have an inspector there. We'll keep you informed as much as we can with all the bro with what's happening with the project. So I want to make sure that this day is, is our schedule for now. Things can change, but we will do our best to update the website or to send you notice. And if you will have a contact information uh, at the end, so you can even contact us if you have any question or any concern. So going to the, the contractor is planning to start on September 28th and end of next month. So the first three they are planning to start is Cardon. So they're going to start with the water line there. And then um, after they finish all the water lines, the bathing will start. So some of this duration, you will find some streets taking longer than the other. Some streets is, uh, have over six months of period. The reason is some street segment is longer. And also if it's concrete, it will take way longer than the asphalt to be done because we have to cure the concrete. We need to have to do have the street before we move to the other half. So all this have an effect on the duration, how long is the construction will be in front of in that street. Uh, it shouldn't be in front of your house all the time, but of course it will affect your uh, travel and uh, in, in that street. So uh, for Cardinal, we're going to start in end of September until February next year. For Magnolia, the blend, as soon as we finish the water line in Cardinal, they're going to move to Magnolia to start the water line. And as soon as the water line in Magnolia is finished, the Irwin Street is going to start. That's why you can see some overlapping and duration. So there is a, two contractors technically working at the same time. So one is working on the utility and the other will be working on the bathing. So uh, you, you will not have like um, downtime. So, and then, and Gordon is not going to see any um, activity until January, so in the new year, unless something happened and we moved Gordon to the beginning. And then Walling is going to be until almost June of next year. So uh, I know it looks long time, but um, it is construction and it takes a while to finish all the three segments. So our plan for now for the schedule is to finish by December 21st. Okay, so I know I went to the presentation quickly, but I first I want you to have my contact information and the project inspector. So since this project is for construction, we already have an assigned uh, an inspector. So if he is going to be on the site way more than me. So uh, if you have an issue or anything, I'm sure uh, Will won't have a problem with you contacting him directly. We also have the contractor today uh, online with us in the meeting if you have any questions. So at this point, I'm going to ask Jeff and Raul if we have any question in the chat and I need to answer. We, we do have several in chat uh, already. So we'll start at the, at the earliest and work our way forward. Uh, the first one is um, uh, asking about changing uh, to concrete the north side of West Edison because the asphalt uh, disintegrates pretty rapidly and leaves large holes. No, okay. So um, when we went with the bond, I cannot change the scope of the project at this point. And we sh the the asphalt you see in the project currently this. Asphalt is very, very, very old. Some of the street segments are over 25 to 30 years old, and we have not been maintaining them. So this is not going to be the case with the asphalt. Uh, some of the picture I showed you here in the scope, this picture, some of the street is over a year, uh, two years. It's, it's left. Is this asphalt we're going to do is not the way you are seeing it. It's not like maintenance. That is a complete reconstruction of the street. We're doing a new base, uh, and it's on top of that base, you're going to get the asphalt. So it's the minimum time until you can start getting holes in the street is at least 10 years, maybe more. So, and the city is going to make every effort to maintain its street. 
Okay, the next question uh, is Thomas Place. It's a cross street on Curzon, uh, also needs to be redone. Uh, there are holes, no curbs, lots of cracking. Uh, where would they go to officially make a request for that? Who would they contact? So uh, I think we need to contact DBW customer service to log their uh, request, but I cannot, uh, I cannot add a scope to the project that I'm saying these streets are 2018 bonds, uh, they are voted on the street limit. So if you want your streets to be done or maintained, or if you have an issue, you can contact CBW customer service. I don't know, Jeff, do you have the phone number for the customer service or the email? I think that they went to the uh, city website, or it is there. It, it is on the city website. It's uh, the phone number is 817-392-1234. Uh, and you can also use um, the My Fort Worth app, um, which is My FW uh, in the Google Play Store or the Apple Store, uh, and it, it will allow you to submit issues with streets as well. Yeah. Okay, the uh, next question. Will the houses on the south side of the 2300 block of West Magnolia get new water lines in the street or the alley? And if, will those new water lines be underneath the sidewalk or the streets? So the water line, if we are replacing the water line, all the water lines in this project will be in the street. So if you are currently connected to the water line in the street, you are getting a new water line. If you are connected to the back, to the alley, you are not getting, we are not replacing that water line. So if you are currently connected to the front, you will get a new water line, a new new meter, and everything. It's a smart meter. Uh, the one connected to the back, we are not going to the alley at the back of Magnolia or Erwin. Mary, this is Brian Sherub. Um, I just wanted to say the 2200 block is served from the front. The 2300 block is served from the back. Uh, so east of Forest Park will get a new water line. West of Forest Park will not in the street. Thank you, Brian. Okay, the next question is, uh, is there parking advice during construction? So we'll, we'll let you know. So uh, if we are working on the street, we, in that segment, you cannot park in the street. It will be very difficult to have the construction equipment during construction and you park in the street. So uh, during that time, the, Parking in the street will be limited. It's for safety and for everyone. Okay. Um, there's one more. Can we see 100% set of plans for Irwin? Yeah, if you are interested, you can send me an email and I can share with you uh, that uh, sheet of uh, Irwin Street. So if you want to send me an email, mary.hanna at portworthtexas.gov, send on the screen and uh, tell me which street you are interested and I can send you the blank sheet for that street. I cannot share the whole set, it's too big to share, but if you want specific sheets, I can definitely do that. Or if you are only interested in your property, I can screenshot that location and send it to you also. So you can see the improvement in front of your house. Okay, there's another question. Um, if there's damage to the yard or a vehicle during construction, will claims need to be directed to the city or to the contractor? So, first of all, if you have, if we damage anything in your yard, we are going to restore it. So, the first step is either contact me or the inspector. We'll work with you, try to resolve it easily. If it's not resolved and you can submit your claim through uh, the city uh, risk management. There is a link also and you can submit uh, a claim through that if we can't resolve it. But I want to tell you 99.9% .9 of the cases we can resolve it. Uh, as long as you contact me and the inspector, we can work with you and see what needs to be resolved there. So um, anything we damage, 
your irrigation, your grass, anything damaged during construction, we are going to fix or replace. So if we damage the grass, we are going to replace it. Uh, if we da your, your irrigation system, the, the heads of the irrigation damage or anything, we are going to replace it as part of the project. That's all included in the cost of the project. If damage to the car, this is like going to be through the claim between you and the contractor. So this is a different story. So um, anything for you in front of your property, we do. We're going to restore it to as good or better than previously. That's what we our uh, we can promise you that. But anything else like um, vehicle or anything uh, inside the house, any of that, you will we'll have to resolve it with the contractor. And if it's not resolved, you'll have to go to risk management. Okay, we have a, a little more clarification on on parking. Uh, not parking on the street makes sense, but will residents still have access to driveways so they can park on property? Yes. So we're only going to ask you either. So usually what happens during construction, we finish the utility and then we go and do carbon gutter and asphalt street. And then after we finish the carbon gutter, during the doing the carbon gutter, we do driveways in one side and not the other. So during that time, you may be able, instead of barking in front in your driveway, is to bark in the street while we're doing your driveway. Flat on the asphalt street. For concrete streets, it may be a little bit tricky. Uh, we'll, ha we'll have to finish the paving of the street first, and then we come and do your driveway. So as soon as we finish the paving and after the concrete cure, you can, instead of barking your driveway, you will bark in the street and we'll do your driveway and after we finish you go back and bark inside your driveway so we'll coordinate with you we'll communicate we'll let you know when when you want to be barking in the street or instead of your driveway usually that limit to seven to a week to 10 days max until the cure as uh, a concrete set and cure and we can make sure you can enter and drive over the concrete so usually between um um, demolishing your um, existing driveway, forming it, pouring the concrete, it takes maximum two weeks. So it's usually that time you will have to bark either in your neighbor, you can work together, you bark in his driveway and he bark in your driveway when the opposite happens, or you can bark in the street. So we'll let you know during construction. So I hope that answers your question. Okay, we have another. Uh, do the 100% plans show any trees that will be removed? Yes. So if we are removing the trees, some trees uh, we are actually, all, every tree in the project, we work the project with the city forester and we discuss with the city forester if we can keep or remove this uh, tree based on the uh, proposed improvement. So if they give us already approval on removal, we already mark it on the plan as being removed. If we think we can save the tree, it's marked on the tree on the land to be protected. So I'm not going to say we are removing 100%. That's not the case. We try as much as we can to protect as much trees as we can. As you can see from some of the picture, I know some of these trees are lined but with uh, with trees. So we did our best to protect uh, like most of these trees. Okay, thank you. Uh, for clarification, the asphalt st streets that are being redone in asphalt will get new concrete driveway? Yes. So the only, the streets only will be in asphalt, but all the curb and gutter, the driveway, the sidewalk, everything will be in concrete. Yes. Okay, that's, uh, that's all the questions we have in chat at the moment. Oh, got another one, just the approach. Oh, yes, yeah. so we are uh, placing yeah. the sidewalk all the way to the back of the curb. So the limit of the driveway will, sorry, I, I uh, missed to mention that all the driveway will going to be replaced to the back of the sidewalk. So, um, so at least the length of the driveway will be around nine to 10 feet. So that's the standard length we have. Some area will be more than that, uh, but not less than nine feet. So, and uh, also the width of the driveway. So if you have less than 11 feet driveway, uh, we 
uh, we are going to make it 11 feet. So if your existing driveway width is 10 feet or 9 feet, we are making it 11 feet. Okay, will you ensure that angles of the driveway are not going to uh, come out the car? Yeah, sure. So we are not changing you. If your existing driveway uh, slope is 10%, you are either getting 10% or less. If your existing driveway is 20%, you are getting 20% or less. But we are not changing the street elevation to change the driveway slope. So we are keeping the street elevation almost the same as it is, as much as we can. So we are not changing the driveway slope. We are trying to make it better, not worse. So our plan is either match existing or to make it better. You are not getting it worse. Thank you. So uh, no more questions in chat at the moment. Um, Raul, do you want to you want to ask about Spanish, Raul? Sí, si alguien que habla español tiene alguna pregunta en este momento, eh, puede hacer la pregunta a través del chat. They, they can ask the question also in Spanish if they want. If someone wants to, un we, we want to ask a question of, instead of writing it, we can unmute them. They need to tell us. Yeah, for, uh, the, for the callers, yeah, the callers don't have access to the chat, so. Yeah, we have we have seven we have seven people who have called in. I'm gonna I'm gonna unmute them when we're ready for that, and they can ask any questions that they may have. We have not done this yet, so uh, if if as a call-in user, just tell us your name uh, one at a time if you can, so we so we can hear everyone and then uh, ask your question. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now one at a time. Y si alguien que habla español tiene una pregunta, también la puede decir en voz alta. Okay, all call, all call and users are unmuted. If anyone has a question, please ask. So if you're calling from your phone, we don't know who you are. So uh, if you want to ask a question, you can. Hi, I, I have a question. You. Sure. On the sidewalk, if there is foundation problem, is that up to the homeowner to fix out of pocket or will the city come and repair those um, issues, those foundation issues? Yeah, this is this is your, yeah, it's outside of right of way. Any improvement we do is in the city right of way. So we are on, like only doing the sidewalk, not the foundation for the house. Right, but in the future, if the foundation on the sidewalk is to crack, because there's a lot of foundation issues in that area, in the Gordon area, so if that were to ever crack due to liability with, you know, people walking through your sidewalk, is that a homeowner responsibility or is that the city responsibility? Okay, so according to the current city ordinance, I know the city may change that in the future, but according to the current ordinance, it is the homeowner responsibility. I don't know what will happen in the future, but I think the city is looking at changing some of these ordinance. So I, I cannot, I don't know what will happen in the future, but as it's now, the ordinance calls for the homeowner responsibility to fix it. And I'm just, at first I thought, oh my gosh, she's hard to understand, but then I thought, mm -hmm. You know, two years. Good. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm thinking, he is uh, obviously so, speaking a language beautifully. So in saying, Wait. So in saying that, um, are we able to opt out of the sidewalk um, repair no. or no. no, no. I understand what are you saying, and I'm sorry, no. We have to do continuous sidewalk. No one can opt out of the sidewalk. That's not optional even. Okay, thank you. So, Mary, uh, uh, one person has missed a good portion of the sidewalk, I mean, of the presentation. 
uh, they're asking if it will be posted on the city's website. Uh, I'll go ahead and answer that. Yes, we will. Uh, we are recording it. Uh, so we'll have it posted on the project page um, probably within a few days. Um, it'll, all, it'll be on the city's YouTube channel as well. So. YouTube page. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I see uh, uh, yeah. another chat came in, uh, Jack. Yeah, it says if we do, if they don't currently have sidewalks, are we, are we adding them? Yes. So this project is different. So mainly 90% of the streets already have sidewalks. They are in bad condition, so we are replacing them. As you, if there is a gap in the sidewalk, we are filling this gap with new sidewalks. Something is sticking out of your pants. Are y'all adding? Um, Sewer drainage to areas where water accumulates. Or like for somebody to be saying that. No. <laughs> no, we are not doing any storm drain um, improvement to the area. It's good. I don't want them in the back. All the sewage okay. is in the back. So Mary, will the um, will our contractor ensure that concrete and asphalt is not installed during freezing temperatures? Yeah, we we have actually a specification when they can uh, bore the concrete or the asphalt. So we are making sure that they are not doing it um, outside smart. of the contractor. She has command of this. She's not pussyfooting around by the answers. Mm -hmm. Yes, no. Uh -huh. uh, I can hear someone, but I don't know if they have a question. So, uh, I don't see anything time, else. Uh, go ahead, Mary. So at this time, if there is no more questions, we can end the presentation and um, Thank you for joining us. If you have a specific question or you need more information, you can contact me either by email or by phone. I'll be happy to answer any more questions. I like it. Oh, yeah. we, did, uh, we, we did have one more question come in, Mary. Sidewalks uh, says my house and land are higher than neighbors. Does this mean that a drop in the sidewalk? And what will be done with drainage because of that? So if your uh, land is higher and rough to install a sidewalk, some of the probability we, are ha we have to install uh, retaining walls in the right of way. So to make the grade work and to make it uh, ADA compliant for the sidewalk, we'll, some area will have to get either a small curb at the back of the sidewalk, six inch or some area will get higher than that, so a foot or foot and a half of retaining wall at the back of the sidewalk. So um, we'll make sure it's graded, make sure the water goes to the street. So whenever we put any improvement, all the water will be going to the street. Shouldn't be, we shouldn't be putting water into your property. Unless yes. it's going like that now. Any more questions? Good talk to you, Mary. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, and thank you all. Uh, I will end the recording now and the presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you.